My name is Lynn Virginia Franklin. I have two sons and an adopted daughter. And I have grandchildren from Canada to Mexico <laughs> scattered all over the United States. I have 12 great-grandchildren. A long, long time ago, I told my granddaughter we were talking about age, and I said, well, I want to be around until, she's about seven, eight years old at the time. I said, I won't be around long enough. I want to see your children and see what they're going to be like. She says, oh, ma'am, that's going to be a long time. <laughs> Over three years ago, I went in just for a regular doctor's appointment, and when he listened to my heart, he said, you've developed a heart murmur. And I trust him. He, he was my husband's doctor. My husband passed away in 2015, and uh, he had his first heart attack when he was 38 years old. And he had five bypass surgery. And so I knew what heart surgery and be op being opened up was going to be like because I went through that with him. I had known that like in the last year, gradually my energy and my strength had lessened noticeably to me. So Dr. Schultz was keeping an eye on me and then in December, of last year, he said, I want to send you to a valve specialist, to Dr. Barnett. I said, okay. So I went to see Dr. Barnett, and he said that I needed a valve replacement because otherwise I wasn't gonna be here just for a whole lot longer. If we didn't do it, I probably had a year. And I said, no, it's not my time. I never had any doubts that it wouldn't turn out just exactly the way it should. I mean, I was not nervous, I was not afraid. It just, I just knew that I was gonna be taken care of, and I was. I'm still here, and I'm gonna be here for a lot longer than I would have been if I hadn't have had the procedure. They do enough research before they have doctors trained and ready to do all of these procedures. So I didn't have any pain. I didn't have any soreness. I, I just felt great the next morning, uh, like nothing had ever happened. I think I had one little stitch. I don't have any damage at all to my heart. It was just the valve. And uh, that's, that's being very blessed, very, very blessed. First of all, listen to your body because no matter what age you are, you know your body better than anybody. And you know the signs if you have a problem. And if you have a problem, I, I say go fix it. Why live with it if you can go fix it? And the quality of your life matters. You need, you need to be as good to yourself as you can possibly be. I want to hang around. I've got things to do. My red hat ladies and I want to have some fun. <laughs> and uh, I, I want to see more of my great grandbabies when they get here. And I just enjoy life. I think life is great. I'm happy to be anywhere at 79 years old with a good heart.